There's a wide range of images that are in um, medieval Haggadot. Some of them have full cycles of biblical stories. So in the Golden Haggadah, it begins with what's sort of like a modern comic book of the biblical stories from creation until the Exodus. And it goes through scene by scene in a way that sort of provides the background for the Haggadah text. And there are several others that do that as well. There are also images of feasting and of the Seder meal, some of which have been looked at by scholars as a way of showing how life looked like in medieval Europe. Whether or not it reflects life in medieval Europe is less important than that's how they wanted it to look. And I think that that sort of idealized notion of life is what's really important about those images. And then there are also these sort of marginal images, which um, have a sort of disputed a disputed existence in that they have very fantastical creatures and, and images that you wouldn't expect to be found on the pages of a Haggadah, whether they're birds, beasts, flowers, they decorate the edges and they sort of provide a separate set of important tropes for the Haggadah text.